What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most, the Magus with the knowledge, and today we're going to continue modeling Goku. Uh, in this part, I'm speaking over a brief time lapse of me modeling the ear. Um, for this part, I time lapsed it kind of because I thought that it might be more efficient to get the tutorial done this way, but I think in the future when we do modeling things, it might be easier for me to speak along with you because uh, this is more of a technical process. So, uh, for this part, find four faces that look like they fit in the ear section and inset them in with eye. Uh, and then extrude them outward to get the base shape of the ear. I think this method of ear modeling is, is certainly more comfortable for me uh, you can definitely model the ear as a separate entity and then try to fit it into the model later. Uh, but I like just taking a piece of the model and making the ear real quick uh, as it helps you keep your model fundamental sharp. And I think it's, again, it's a quicker way to make an ear. So basically you massage the vertices to get a nice looking shape. It's not so jagged. Again, this is like the beginning stages of the ear, so don't get too worried if the ear looks kind of globby. At least when you first start. As you see, my ear looks my ear looks nothing like a ear right now. So I decide to edge slide those vertices together with edge snapping and the reason being is so that the ear could taper more into the head. I'm not too worried about those being triangles at the moment, even though triangles are evil. They become quads later. So now you see it's starting to look more like an ear. Control R at an edge loop, boom. We fix the triangle problem and we have better definition in our ear. Select those four initial faces and inset them again. We're gonna start getting into the inner detail of the ear. This part, I wasn't necessarily too sure how to go about it. Normally, some people would delete that inner vertice and construct the insides of the ear using the remaining vertices. Uh, however, I wanted to see if I could make something similar without necessarily deleting the particular part of the mesh. I don't know why, I could have just deleted it and puzzled something together, but I wasn't at the time, I, I just wasn't feeling it. I, I was, and that's one thing you'll learn. You, there, you have multiple ways to solve problems when you're working, but sometimes you just gotta go with the one that you know will work for you. So I inset it again and Alt S to scale it inward to get the to get start forming the ridges. So I grab those two faces and inset them, and now I'm starting to make some of the details of the ear. Grab that face, extrude it. So there, I beveled those, I beveled that edge, but decided not to. I think I instead used the knife tool. There it is, yes. Yeah, so I instead used the knife tool, and the reason is so that I can cut an area where I want there to be some detail for the ear that didn't exist already. 
So the knife tool is really good for literally creating geometry out of nowhere. It does create a separate problem where now we have to figure out how to make all of these quads. So you see me trying to parse this out myself. I tried one solution and it looks like it's stuck. It made another triangle so I added a edge loop to the part of the head where another loop wouldn't be too damaging to the geometry. And we fixed one and got What would be hilarious is if I went through this whole video and didn't fix that other end guy. Oh, I straight up didn't. I don't think I noticed. <laughs> this is hilarious watching it uh, back in the... So here, I decide that there needs to be more geometry for the ear so that it's not so polygonal. So I select the surrounding faces and inset them to basically add an edge loop around the ear without technically edge looping around the ear. Now that I'm watching this, once this part is over, I'm going to go back and fix that end guy. Because now it's bothering me. I can't, I can't stop looking at it. So here I start to make the, the ear hole, the ear canal. I just grab two faces and extrude in where there's nothing major. So essentially, that's how you make the ear. Uh, granted, I got that end guy right there. And one more time, I grab the bottom set of faces, basically, and inset them again to kind of pseudo add an edge loop around the ear to give myself more geometry to work with. So these are like little modeling tricks you can use when you don't necessarily have all the resolution you need, but you don't want to subdivide the entire mesh. You can find ways to work around that without destroying the form of your object nor the overall flow. So, uh, let's go and fix that end guy, shall we? Alright, we're back. So, to fix that end guy, let's see what we got here. That's a good edge loop. And then let's grab There we go. Whoops. <laughs>
So. One last thing I would like to do before we call the ear complete. is I would like to make an edge loop out of this section of the model. And the reason being is so that it will make it easier to unwrap this with UVs later. So I'm just going to bevel this And I'm pretty sure because of how we selected it, there shouldn't be any end guns. Oops. There we go. Awesome. And there we go. So, there we have it. There is the ear. severe all right guys that is it for today's tutorial thank you all so much for watching please subscribe to the channel for more dragon ball character tutorials and other anime character creation tutorials and i will see you all in the next video y'all have a good one be safe save your work